Are you having one of those days? When you can't figure where to find love or whether the love you have is really love? When you can't seem to find your own place in this vast universe? When you don't have control over everything that's happening to you and nothing goes your way? When you realize you are not who you wanted to be? The Girl Oracle deck is here to serve as your guide. Each card will guide your spirits towards the answers you are looking for, or path you are meant to walk, or truths you have to realize and live. Whether it's love, relationships, dreams, enemies, or other struggles you face as you journey to your destiny, let the Girl Deck by Sal be your guide. Come and join me at my first meetup in Los Angeles and let's explore the girl deck together. Hi Taurus, welcome to my channel. We're doing your weeklies. This is February 1 to 7. It's a little bit different because I am not in my studio, but I'm still going to be doing your weeklies, guys. Okay, because I am away on a vacay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so here we go. This is going to be for the weeklies for the Taurus. If you guys hear the background or if I'm overexposed, it's because the water is behind me. Oh, well, now I want to focus on me, the camera. The words are, there's an ocean behind me, okay? This is February 1 to 7. This is Taurus. Oh, not bad, not bad. This is what I call, cause I'm dreaming of you tonight. This is the star card. And as a star card, something has been making you feel so fulfilled. You know, things are going well. If this is you, you're getting some sort of message from your guides also, your intuition. Sorry if, I, if I'm over focusing not. I'm getting your, um, um, how to call this, getting some sort of uh, synchronicity in the situation that you are in. Um, if you're asking your guides, um, they're talking to you directly with the star card. This can be an Aquarian at the same time. Um, this is a premonition, I feel, with uh, the star card. Something is being revealed um, through the ethers towards you. And um, with this energy as the star card, it's showing it's on top of the water over here, the ocean. Oh, and I just mentioned the ocean. Okay, if you guys can see it now. Oh, the ocean is right there. Um, I feel that um, you're seeing now that the situation has, has, is going to where it's supposed to. Okay, this is this is this is a wonderful wonderful message for you with the star card. Um, this is being free at the same time and feeling fulfilled. Let me see. And this is dreams because eleventh house is you know it's a like house of karma. So karma is about um, how to say this um, dreams manifesting. It's also number seven, so partnership. Death card can be with a Scorpio. Oh. Wait, this is now a Taurus Scorpio. Mm -hmm. So transformation, and we know I've been discussing that Jupiter is in your seventh house as it's in Vedic sidereal. So it's very auspicious. It's it's like it's very auspicious that you know um, something is going to be given towards you with regards to relationship. Um, it can be it can be transformation, the feelings between the two of you. But now I feel like it's more of revelation. Um, how do you call this? An awakening. Both of you are going through a cycle where what was over is over, and now it's time to start new. The star card is an indication of, um, I feel that you know that it's going well. The death card was the transformation part. Both of you are going through this, I feel. Next to the star card. Oh, hello. Mm -hmm. Got here the star, the ace of cups. Okay, with the star card. Um, I hope you don't mind. I'm just going to sip some coffee to pump some energy. Mm -hmm. With the ace of cups here, I feel that... Um, this is realizing that you love each other, there's strong feelings between the two of you, and you just want to give this person everything. <laughs> um, this is about um, showering them with feelings, um, showering them with love, but this can just be showering, okay? <laughs> In baño, el baño, okay? Here we go. <laughs> mm -hmm. Maybe mucho sucio. No, just kidding. <laughs> so, y you're feeling in love, um, Taurus over here. And you know that this is the one. The star card is indication also. It's like, this is the one that you, basically for you, um, you really, really love. So, um, nobody can question you anymore. It's like, this is the one for me. No, I know that this is the one. You know, this is what you're going to say. You can be dealing with a Scorpio or whoever is in the house of your partnership, which is the seventh house. Knight of Pentacles, another you. This, another you. This person could probably has been chasing you. 
right now. This person is probably also showing you some sort of intention with regards to trying to take care of you. Knight of Pentacles holds on to their precious pentacles because they know what kind of work is needed to be in a relationship. So someone here knows the process to be in a relationship that there should be love first as a foundation better than NC20 so that you guys can become together, okay? Let me see here. Next to the Ace of Cups. Got here the Queen of Pentacles. So this is good. The Queen of Pentacles is... Okay. This is the time um, where um, you start taking care of this person. This is Capricorn energy. You, you see the value, or they see the value in you, and they spend time. They nurture you in a way where I have your back. I got your back. You have nothing to worry. I'm here. Very stable. Very grounded. The other person is in the process to get there. They're going in the step by step. It's like, okay, so this is what you're showing to me right now. This is good. You know, you're showing me love. You're showing me this. You're showing me consistency and I'm on board. That's the, um, that's the Queen of Pentacles over there. Let me see here. Other person. There are two of Pentacles. Okay, so I feel like this is where it was breaking through from the crossroad. The questions, if you are connected with, it, with an Aries, they had this card also. So this is where, right now, okay, this is where it is already, how to say this, um, evolving from. That's, that was hard. That was time, that, that time with the, when you guys were the, that time when you guys had a crossroad. I'm oh, sorry about that one. I should turn it off. One second. Okay, and I have pants. <laughs> I always joke that I have pants. Sorry about that. What is this? The, the heater. Okay. So that's the time that you guys were in a um, crossroads. Uh, it was uh, it was that point where, you know, this was used. The scythe, uh, scythe or sith or whatever this is. Scythe or whatever. That, the thing that cuts. So it was time for you guys to choose the direction here. Very, very important part that you guys have is because... This could have been a situation where someone is choosing love and stability or, you know, it's like, so what is it? Like, what is it really? What do we have? That was a tough call. But as soon as the other person here knows that this is what they, what the, uh, who the person that they want, you know, because this person has a certain way. If they have a checklist like here, if you guys can see it, if I have a checklist right here, they were trying to analyze, okay, how, oh my God. I already turned it off. Okay. But the Queen of Pentacles, they already, sorry about that, guys. Mm -hmm. Maybe someone's really pursuing you now. Okay. Because that's relentless. I turn it off, it turned on. So someone here has their own checklist, basically, on what is the one? Who is the one for me? And because I am at this stage where I am ready. So is this the other person here? Is, are they the one? I feel like they are. Okay. So I'm going to continue this reading. Um, Taurus, this is your February 1 to 7. I wish you guys have a wonderful, wonderful week. Um, and oh, don't forget, the girl is out, okay? But the boy is mine. <laughs> you know, the, the girl is out, the boy is mine. The boy is mine. <laughs> I'll see you guys again. Link down there in the description box for the gold and the diamond edition. And at the same time for the extended read. Have a wonderful February 1 and 7. Bye, Taurus.